In this section, we'll understand what is S4 HANA Embedded Analytics Architecture. This is a brief overview. If you don't understand a lot of things, that's okay. You will understand by end of this course, but I just wanted to cover how SAP Embedded Analytics stack looks. So this is how it looks. And when you see it, the bottom line is nothing but databases where you store all your transaction data in SAP S4 HANA. And on top of that, you have your ABAP CDS models which we will be creating and you will see how you can create them as well. We will have a proper hands on in detail and you will see how you can create ABAP CDS models. And then we will create OData services on top of it. If you are from BW, you may not know OData service. If you are from ABAP, you may be aware about OData services already. The idea behind OData service is to consume or make it's like an API, I would say. So if you understand API, OData service is kind of when you want to expose your ABAP object to outer world, you create OData services and other systems can consume OData services. And here we will see how we can also consume OData services and what are the various features or options available with SAP Embedded where we'll have KPI creation and a lot of analytical reports creation. We'll see that how it happens. And one more option is creating a transient analytical query. We will be creating that as well, which can be consumed in SSE, SAP Analytics Cloud or other BO tools as well. We'll see one option where we will be checking this data in RSRT and as well as into analysis for office. So we'll be checking that because we have that in our system. SSE is not configured here, but process is similar. You can consume how you consume in analysis for office. You can similarly consume data in SSE as well. And we will also see how we can expose our data to SAP BW for HANA. We have a full course on SAP BW for HANA 2.0 where we have taught this and we'll be teaching the same thing here. How you can consume ABAP CDS into SAP BW for HANA as an extractor. So this is the overall SAP S4 HANA flow, how it goes and architecture, which you should keep in mind. You will understand the details of these terms when we do a hands on. So don't stress yourself much. Just understand that we have these terms and we'll be seeing what these terms mean when we go further. And just to reiterate the features as for HANA has is a modern UI and you can have real time reports because you are on top of S4 HANA itself. There is no extra DB which you are accessing. So it's always real time and it has a very good performance because of HANA and you can use extensions and all those things we'll see in detail. And it has a very good user experience and a lot of options are available. You see all these charts, KPIs, we will be creating those. This analytical list page, we will be creating that as well. This is a Fury tile, which is downloaded from SAP Fury library. All these things you will understand once we start doing it. And it is also future ready. In future, you will have a lot of auto decisions power in the embedded analytics itself. But that's in future, you will have a lot of machine learning embedded into this. You will see that in future, but not now. So this is the S4 HANA embedded analytics architecture. So the idea is there are a lot of steps which you need to follow and we will be seeing these steps in detail when we go further. Thank you.